So what we're going to do with Kelvin is uh, play the line up and <coughs> I'll place the ball where I want, I'll place the disc where I want the white ball to finish. So your job would be uh, replace the colours for me, but also look out for that run through shot, the natural angle shot. So I'd like you to just say run through. If I play that shot, say run through uh, out loud so that I know you've recognised that shot. Does that make sense? Mm. So if you see me play the natural angle, the run through, I'd like you to say so, to tell me. And this will get your mind uh, comfortable with um, uh, looking out for this shot when you see professionals play on TV. You'll see how often they play this shot. The other shot I want you to look out for is the screw shot. So minus four, bottom of the ball. So plus four is top of the ball, centre is zero, minus four, bottom of the ball. <coughs> if you see me set play minus four, then also tell me screw shot, okay? So I want, to, I want you to become familiar with those shots. When you see them, I want you to know what they are. Because then you'll see the professional has played that shot, then you'll think, why did they play that shot? Oh, okay, that makes sense. And, then you'll learn how they think more clearly, okay? What do you mean by uh, the run through? What it means is where the natural angle of the cue will, so it's top spin, yeah. top of the white ball, and you just have the natural angle. So for example, this shot here. If I play run through, top of the white ball, look where the white finishes. over here, mm. but if I play stun, so plus two on the white, look where the white finishes, different direction isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit of stun, it's not the natural angle, the full follow through shot, okay? And that follow through shot is the, the shot Mark Williams plays a lot. It's the run through. That's the run through, yeah. So I'll start with the most difficult one to clear the toughest ball. My target's to be here, straight on the black. So if I play screw or follow or run through, just tell me. Say so, uh, so that I know you've recognised the shot. Okay, Is I want you to uh, tell me screw shot. Screw. Yeah, okay. or I want you to tell me run, run through. Mm. Okay. Stun and follow. It was not, it was between screw and follow. It wasn't full screw back. Say that for me, stun, screw, or follow, or you know, run through. <clears throat> Actually, let's get back here.
this because I'll hit the other red. So yes. Here. Interesting if I use the cubo to hit in minus four step and then No minus four I'll still hit the red. Slight stun actually wasn't exactly yeah. a screw. <coughs> Almost mm. screw.
that. Was that? Mm. What was Stand. it? There? Eh? Stand. Yep, correct. Thank you. 
How much was that? One hundred forty-seven. <laughs> not quite. You need all blacks to do that, but one hundred thirty-three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so stand on the cushion. We can uh, summarise what you uh, learnt there. So you're good at recognising follow, screw, or stun shots. That's great. What did you learn about the shot selection and? how to keep things easy, how to keep the brake going, what did you see from that exercise? Sometimes I think <clears throat> when you hit your, when you put the red ball, and for the cue ball, you, uh, you don't, mm, you don't, you don't touch the pass four, just only in the middle zone, the zero. Yes, yeah, sometimes. So what that's, happens is, that's the foil. yeah, it is. It is. That's a very good observation, actually. So, for example, from this shot here, what the spread say? If I'm following that through, if the professional is following that through for the black, they could hit top of the white ball plus four, yes. right? Or the they could hit dead center zero. What happens is, you get. Can you pass me that ball with the stripes on? Thank you. What happens is with top spin, if you play top of the white ball, it's spinning immediately yep. like a tire across a road. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you play center, what happens is you get a heavier part of the white ball, so you get more power for your for a slower Q speed, mm -hmm. or more power for the same Q speed. And also, what happens is the lower you hit the ball. If you hit unintentional side spin, it swerves later. So if you hit unintentional side at the top, it will swerve here. Mm. And by the time it reached the red, it, you miss the red. Yes. But unintentional side center, what happens is, so it slides a little bit, then it begins to roll forward. So only when it begins to roll forward does it swerve. Mm. So you have more insurance to pop the ball. It's like this shot here when they play, they say it's called a drag shot, where they play minus four, bottom of the <coughs> cue ball. Yeah, but the cue ball would be mm, slow down and then it would be very fast. Everywhere. And then it turns to yeah. top spin. So I'm playing a top spin shot, but I'm playing bottom of the ball. But it means that spinning backwards a long way, it starts following through near the red, only at that point near the red, if I play an intentional side, can it swerve. Mm. It also gets the white to the red a little bit quicker for the same red ball speed uh, because the uh, backspin acts as a brake to the white ball. So you can hit it faster and the brake is applied, mm. then it turns to top spin. So have a look here, this is called the drag shot. You can see it turns to top spin. Mm. And it's just a, neat, a way to keep the white on a straighter line. But good observation. What else did you uh, see from that exercise? Mm. Sometimes you not only touch the plus four or, or minus four, or minus three or two, or maybe left or right. Sometimes left or right, not often. Yes. Only 5% of shots. Um, you uh, you asked the shot here, I think it was, but I just wanted to keep my concentration. Mm. Do you remember when the white was here and I had the pink? Two more reds remaining, you had a question, I think. Mm. You were going to say, when I followed through with the red, yeah. <clears throat> I had this red here, two reds here, mm. and I followed through to here, and I had the pink in the middle. Do you remember what the question was there? You were standing over here, and I potted the red, and I came here for the pink in the middle. Two reds. Okay. Two reds. Don't remember? 
no problem. The other thing that, I, that is interesting for the people who don't understand the game yet is uh, I played 36 shots there, 